Hi, this is Mark from Wiki Design. In this Elementor tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can manually sort the order of your post using this plugin right here called Post Types Order. By default, there's no way to visually sort and arrange a custom query feed for your blog post. This plugin is going to give you the ability to drag and drop the exact order you need to display your post. Once you have the plugin installed and activated, what I recommend is go over into the settings. So if you click right here where it says settings, you're going to see this new one called Post Types Order. And depending on your website, it, this is going to look a little bit different. But in this case, let's just talk about the post. We're not going to be using any custom post types or anything like that. So what I recommend is under this first thing right here is a show hide reorder interface. You can keep this uh, at show for posts and you can hide the rest if you want. What that's going to do is give you this new interface right here. So if you go underneath post, this is called reorder. And this is going to visually just show you, you know, these are just the titles of the post and now you can go ahead and click and drag in any order you want and then you would just scroll all the way to the bottom and then hit update that's one way to do it the way i prefer to do it is a little bit different so what i like to do is go to settings post type order and if you scroll down here where it says the drag and drop feature i like to put this on yes and so what this is going to do is you hit yes and you're going to want to hit save settings right here what that's going to do is give you the ability to go into just right here where it says post. And now you can visually see a little bit more information like the, you know, the author, the blog categories, what date. So I like this interface a little bit better than the reorder. So what you could do is just start clicking and dragging stuff around here. And this is automatically, as soon as you do this, this is all using like Ajax. This is automatically updating your feed. So you don't have to worry about hitting a save button or anything like that. So that's why I like this interface a little bit better. So let me give you a quick example and let me move this one right here, how to make a text shadows. Let me move that to the very top. And that's all you have to do. Now let me go over to my test page right here. And as you can see, the very first one is called speed up your WordPress website. Now, if I go ahead and just hit enter, look at what happened. It automatically changed to the order that I, literally just click and drag. So how to make text shadows is now the very first one right here. And now I'm going to jump into this widget and show you the one setting that you're going to have to change in order for this all to work. So if I go into that page right here and I click on the widget, as you can see, this is just using the post widget inside Elementor and underneath query, what you're going to want to do is where it says order by, you're going to want to choose menu order. So this is now going to choose to query the order by the menu on the back end. So that's what this whole setting is right here. This is like your menu order right here. So you're just gonna to wanna to make sure that's on menu order and hit update. And depending on how you have everything set up, you may have to change whether it be ascending or descending. So in this case, I needed to be ascending. And so it's gonna start there and then go away, you know, it's way down. Now I do, remember having a setting in here that if you have any issues with it not working, they have this right here. So you can use their ascending, descending parameter. So you might want to be able to turn that on and off depending on your use case. And the one other thing I recommend is turning this option off right here. It's called auto sort. So I believe what this is going to do, if you have that on, this is going to globally change all of your, um, feeds inside WordPress to automatically sort by the menu. So you might have a situation where, let's say in this case, I just want this menu order to appear like this, but on any other pages, you know, sort it by title or date or whatever it may be. But if you have this option on, it's gonna override that. So if you start to run into issues with your other feeds not displaying correctly, just turn that off. So I recommend turn that off by default. And you can see everything else is very simple. Uh, I kept everything else just kind of by the default and you're gonna to wanna to hit save changes. So now let's just do one more test to make sure everything is still working correctly. So let's go ahead and move this one right here, how to style an image five different ways. Let's make that number one. And then let's do speed up your WordPress website is number two. So that's it. Um, like I said, this is all in real time so you don't have to worry about hitting update or anything like that. So now if I go to this page, hit refresh, you're gonna see right here how to style an image in five ways and then speed up your WordPress website. So this doesn't just work with the post widget in Elementor, it can also work with the loop grid or anything that has a query that you can sort by the menu order. So if I just jump into here and let me remove this one right here. 
Let's go ahead and create a new loop grid. And I have a really generic template, I believe, right here. So as you can see, this is pulling in the uh, post feed right here. And instead of sort by date, you can see right here, let's go by menu order. And we're going to want to change this to ascending. So that's it. As you can see right here, anywhere you have this option for order by, you can select menu order and it works with all different types of widgets. So now if we go into here, this is now using the loop grid widget and not the post widget. So that's it for this Elementor tutorial. Make sure you give this video a like, subscribe to this YouTube channel, hit that bell to receive notifications when I release new tutorials like this. Again, this is Mark from Wiki Design.